Hey everybody. Welcome back to my office. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I am sitting here doing some organization this afternoon and I know that you guys have enjoyed this in the past and I've talked about how I organize my meeting materials and now that I have been going back to meetings after quarantine and they've opened up in my area and they've done so in a safe way, I wanted to get my binder together. And as you guys know, if you've watched my channel, maybe you're new to my channel. If you watch my channel, I have a binder that I take with me to WW. Now, why do I do this? Well, uh, I do it, number one, because I like to take notes because <laughs> I like to sh uh, share the meeting with you guys and take some notes so that really helps me. Number two, I keep my charms in my binder. Number three, it keeps all of my little program materials in one place. And uh, fall is a great time, by the way, to pick up these binders, okay? Um, and then number four, I like to take apart my materials and have them more accessible. So a lot of materials you can find on the desktop site of Weight Watchers, my WW, WW, however you know it. I know it as Weight Watchers. If you go in there, you can print a lot of these materials out and make your own binder if you want a binder, if you're not a meeting person. But if you're a meeting person, it's really nice to have everything in one place. Now, it used to be that they would give us a paper weekly with recipes on the back. And I happen to have a lot of weeklies that I'm going to be transferring into just one binder. But I have several binders here, so I need to kind of organize them. These are all from Target. Um, and then I, I believe I have one somewhere that is from Walmart. Walmart did have them last year in the office supply section. It seems like in the fall, that's when you can pick up uh, this size binder, which perfectly fits the materials they do give out in meetings, okay? But if you wanted to print something out from the internet, you could always pick up, here's a binder that I have um, that I like to put recipes and things in. So you can always pick up this size and make a bigger binder and you could put your WW recipes, your program materials that you print out and that sort of thing. I'm a paper person, I like paper. Um, I think one of, the, <laughs> one of the issues that I have is I've been going through and looking at not only my cookbooks, but a lot of the websites I like. Um, like I really like Pound Dropper and um, there's a Skinny Taste and uh, golly, there's so many different recipe uh, websites that you can find Weight Watcher recipes. And I'll find the recipe and I can never find it again. So I've tried to start... Um, printing them out and putting them in a binder. And so that's another project that I have been working on for a while. But I got a new, at the meeting, they gave me a new program book. <clears throat> and I really wanted to keep one of my binders with the green plan, because I do love the green plan, and then make another binder with the blue plan. And basically what I do, guys, because I am a scrapbooker, and you don't have to be this fancy um, is I take the materials that you can get at Target <laughs> in the office section, and I like to create a binder that's easy to flip through. Um, I like to also keep my weigh-in book in here. And so the weigh-in book right now is really big. It used to be a lot smaller. Hey, guys. Oh, I have people in here. Um, Cindy wants to see my charms. Okay, Cindy, I'll show them to you. Hi, um, Kathy. How are you, my friend? Hi, Anna Holt, planner queen. I need help. I want an all-in-one planner for faith, Bible study, meal planning, daily, weekly planning, all of it. Um, yeah, Anna, I don't know. Uh, I have three different planners going on right now because I have my, um, in fact, I'm looking at them right now. I have my, my food planner, I have my regular life planner, and I have my work planner. So I don't have any advice for you, but if you find something, let me know. So these are the weigh-in books right now that we have. And like I said, they perfectly fit into this size. So what I do is I have taken the binder off of this. It's really easy to do. Um, basically, you can just unbind. A lot of these pages in this book are perforated, so you can pull them out pretty easily. And then you can buy these page protectors also at Target that fit 
the Weight Watcher size uh, printed materials that they do give out um, or they used to give out. Now, nowadays they're really moving more towards the app on your phone, um, but you can, like I said, go to desktop and print things out. So I wanted to talk about the blue plan because I've been doing green for so long that I kind of forgot what the blue plan entailed. And for me, I came in on smart points, which is green. Okay. Initially when they switched over from points plus they went to smart points. Um, I only did that for maybe a month or two. And then I did freestyle for a while. I lost about 25 pounds on freestyle. Freestyle and blue are the same plan. So if you have recipes, um, cookbooks, weeklies, that sort of thing that have the blue points, those points are still valid, but you will have to recalculate things that were freestyle if you're doing purple or green. You have to recalculate the points on things. So nowadays the cookbooks have all three plans. They have the points listed. Oh, um, Pam, I loved the pound dropper cheesecake. Thank you so much. I have one piece left. So I was looking through this. If you guys haven't seen this, and I would recommend either seeing if you can walk into a center near you, if you do online and see if they'll give you a copy of this. You can also look on eBay. I did a giveaway once with this in it. I'll see if I can get another one from my center and do another giveaway for you guys. Um, if you would like that, give me a thumbs up so that I know. Um, and I can do a giveaway of one of these. And then my friend Molly over at Classic and Molly, she gave me some binders. So I can give someone the guts in a binder if you'd like to do that. So what I love about these books that they gave out <clears throat> is they talk about the three plans so you can really compare them. It's a lot like what's in your app, you guys. But I like paper. Um, I'm like a lot of you guys that like paper. And when you get to each section, there's a pullout sheet that has the zero point foods. And then there's also a complete primer on the plan itself. So let's talk about the blue plan. So the blue plan is a personalized amount of smart points. So again, it's based on your gender, your height, and your weight. And you get to spend it on any food that you want. And you get 200 plus foods that are zero points. And we say zero, we don't say free, because that's a mindset thing. We don't want to think of food as free, like unlimited portions. But when you are starting out eating like this, you need to start with one serving and see if you're satisfied. Um, and eat to satisfaction. Somebody was asking me about um, intuitive eating. And I think that intuitive eating is also a learned skill, just like, you know, WW eating on WW, um, because we have these grooves in our brain that are based on habits that we were talking about uh, last week, I think, on my channel. And so I think with intuitive eating, it's the same thing. You have to make a new path in your brain. OK, so whatever you're doing out there, we have to change our habits, whether it's intuitive eating or uh, Weight Watchers or keto, whatever you're doing, counting calories, eye track bites. So you do get 200 zero point foods. OK, you get a daily amount. The lowest they'll ever give you is 23 points a day. And then you get weekly points to spend however you like. Uh, and I have noticed that. I do better not eating all my weeklies, although I know a lot of you all think that I should. <laughs> From past experience, I do a lot better when I'm not eating my weeklies. Now, if I'm hungry, I will dip into them if I'm actually physically hungry or working out a lot or something. And then also you get rollovers. So what that means is if you have a point, a daily point balance of 23 and you only eat 19, four of those will roll over to the next day. OK, and then you can use those on the following day. There is a place on your app under settings that you can turn off the rollovers if you don't want to keep rolling over points every day. That's a personal decision that you have to make. All right. So, for example, I get 30 daily points. Uh, if I only eat 28, two of them will roll over to the next day and they will continue to roll over all week until your week is over. So, um. Leslie says, I'm learning the difference between satisfied and stuffed. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And this is all personal preference in terms of what you're doing. Um, I, I know the recommendation is that you always eat, a, is it at least 16 uh, points a day? 
but that was an old recommendation. I don't know if that's still the thing. So don't quote me on that. Um, that's not in the literature. So let's stick with the literature, Amy. Okay. <laughs> um, so your zero point food categories for blue, they list them out right here. You have fruits, you have vegetables, you have eggs, you have chicken and turkey breast, you have fish and shellfish, you have non-fat yogurt and soy yogurt, um, beans and legumes, and tofu and tempeh. So a tempeh would be like the Morningstar Farms, like the veggie crumbles and that sort of thing. Those are on the zero point food category categories. Everything else you're going to count food for or points for. The other thing I love about this is they do give you a little eating guide. So you can look at how to sort of arrange your eating through the week because some of us are in such bad habits that we have forgotten <laughs> what a normal eating pattern looks like. So I think they've given some great ideas on this. Um, like for breakfast, you would have steel cut oats with pomegranate and pistachios. For lunch, you would have honey mustard, chicken salad, whole wheat sandwich, and one ounce of pretzels. So you can kind of see that. Snacks, they're saying popcorn or apple slices. And for dinner, Asian fish and veggie bowl. And then uh, brown rice and uh, two tablespoons of a ginger dressing. So you can kind of see some of the ideas they have there. This is very old school WW to give us ideas. This is what the magazines used to do. So um, I really appreciated that. It's a five-day menu. So I really like that. And then they talk about um, sort of how to build your meals. With Freestyle or the Blue Plan, they really want you to build your meals around zero-point foods. And I think that that's, the true, that's true for purple as well. Um, you know, green is much more portion controlled. So, um, there, you know, green is still about weighing and measuring. And then your zero point foods are going to be your fruits and veggies. But on blue, they want you to kind of start with those zero point foods and then build your meal around them. One of the examples would be to start with some protein, um, add some flavorings, include some healthy fat. They're really big on that. You know, if you're going to spend points, spend it on healthy fat. It used to be old school WW, we would do two teaspoons of healthy oils every day and count our points towards that. Um, so I like that they kind of show you some examples of that in this. And I think that's really cool. But I, I think what I love the most about this is this pull out of the zero point foods, which I think you can put on your fridge or if you're like me and you do your grocery shopping, uh, this is just a quick reference for, oh my goodness, is that, you know, is corn zero? I can't remember. <laughs> is popcorn zero? I can't remember. So popcorn isn't on blue, but it is on purple, like the unflavored popcorns and things. Um, still cut oats, are they zero? No, they're not on blue. So that's been really useful for me when I'm making my shopping list. Like I was doing my meal planning today for the week with my husband. And I, because I went from green to blue, I was like, I can't remember. And um, it, this has just been a lifesaver. So what I do is I unbind that and then I can easily flip through. Now this is the green plan. I can just easily flip through while I'm doing my meal planning. And then also when I'm in my meeting, if we're talking about stuff, and, you know, maybe the leader is, or the coach or whatever she's called, is mentioning uh, something that she ate over the weekend that sounds delicious, but I'm not sure, is that, would that be zero points for me? Would that have points? <laughs> you know, sometimes having three plans can be a little kooky. The other thing I love about this handout that they give us is that you do have the commonly tracked foods. I know I still have friends out there that do paper tracking, so that's helpful as well. And then I like to have a note section uh, in here. Now, I don't know if they still sell these little, uh, you know, note sections and things in Target. You guys will have to look, but when I picked all this stuff up, they had sticky notes and all kinds of things. So sometimes you can find it in the dollar spot, sometimes in the office section of Target and then Walmart in the office section, you can find a lot of this. So in terms of blue, it's pretty easy. Um, this last week I was getting back on blue and I just felt like 
confused <laughs> all week and I didn't have all my materials in one place. And I was like, what did I used to do? And I was going back to some of my old videos when I was being really successful on blue. So uh, uh, Veronica says, I need help with my eating habits. Um, I went today to a meeting, but they were closed. Oh no. I wanted to start online, but wanted to ask them if I could buy WW snacks from them if I only did online. Uh, I know in my area, and Veronica, I can't speak for yours because just so you guys know, I've talked about this, this before, WW is uh, franchised, so you can have centers that are privately owned, you can have like um, the mothership owns it, um, you can have little franchise you know, uh, divisions that meet in community centers and churches, which I've heard a lot of those are still closed. So the centers seem to be open. At my center, I go to a center that's owned by a particular division of WW um, here in the US nationally. And they have certain rules that hasn't really been the same across the board. You guys have given me some feedback on that. Like they will give these out. If you are a Weight Watchers member and you walk in and ask for one, my center will give it out. They also will sell you anything that you want to buy. Now you have to have your uh, barcode on your app to show them in order for them to ring you up. So, but they will, they'll let you buy snacks. Um, in terms of doing a wellness check-in, you have to be a meeting member from what I understand at my particular center. So I think if you guys try and call where you've joined up or where you've done meetings in the past or whatever, and ask them what their rules are, hopefully they have some sort of customer service that can help you out. Um, let's see, Diane says Amazon sells some Weight Watcher snacks. Also, I just got a coupon this last week from WW for 25% off with free shipping. So I took advantage of that and got a couple of the new cookbooks as well as some snacks from the Weight Watcher site. So make sure you check your trash um, in your email, like your spam box, and see if you're missing coupons because that's really important. If you go into the Weight Watchers app, you guys are asking me about where to find the weekly. So for me, um, what you need to do when you go into your app, you're going to have a little section. It's hard to show. Wait, let me turn the brightness down. I always do this. Maybe this will help. Maybe, maybe you're not. It's hard to show you guys. Um, if you go into the app, you'll have the little section that has your head. Let's try this again. Technical difficulties. Oh, there we go. That, that actually worked out really well. So I have an Android. I don't know what Apple has. And down here you can look at um, connect for me is a bunch of little heads. Okay. Whoops. I hit my button. Um, that didn't work, Amy. Next. Uh, but there's a section right here that has my little head. And if you click on that, at the top, it has my 24-7 coaching. This is where you can ask questions. So this is what I was referring to, I think, a few days ago, was if you have a WW question, go ask the WW people um, before you ask a lot of outside entities that may not know the right answer, okay? Um, you can find a studio on here. You can look at your monthly pass. That's where your barcode is, you guys, okay? So there's your barcode for that. Um, and then if you scroll down on this, there's a place that shows you your little awards. And if you keep going, you have pictures. Is this the section that I wanted to show you? Hold on. Okay, that's under your little head. And I think I'm trying to find the place. Okay, go to your daily where you track your food. All right, we're gonna try to find you something on your daily where you track your food. Here's where you track your food. You can see I've been tracking today. If you scroll down, they should have recipes that you can scroll across. And I think that's one thing that people don't know is that you can scroll across the screen. I know a lot of people in my meeting were very confused by that. They didn't realize you could scroll up across. There's also an eight week walk to run plan. And I think this is where we can find our meeting. So I'm trying to find our articles in our meeting because she was showing this to us and we were like, where is it? <laughs> so I'm going to try to find this for you while we're sitting here talking. And uh, the weekly, 
is not showing up where it was showing up before. This is one of the issues that we have sometimes with all of this uh, media stuff. There's my awards. She said it's supposed to be right here. International Friendship Day. Oh, here we go. Okay. What to know today. That's where it is. What to know today. Like I said, this is going to be underneath where you track. So scroll down underneath where you're tracking and go to what, what to know today and scroll over and they're going to have the weekly in here. Okay, so if you scroll all the way over right now, it says week two weekly. Uh, read part two of our new weekly. Do you guys see it? Hopefully that helped. Um, I know a lot of people have been asking. Uh, Melissa says, hi, Amy. I've been thinking of switching from green to blue as well. Do you have any tips for making the change in plans? Well, first of all, you need to make sure that you did green for at least a couple of weeks before switching. Um, second of all, just realize that blue is not portion controlled in the way that it's built, okay? That is something that you have to teach yourself a little bit more in blue. As far as I'm concerned, that's been my experience. So you're going to be looking more at satiety in blue um, and being a little bit more self-aware because you're not doing as much weighing and measuring in blue. So the foods should be the same. Really in green, we should still be building our meals around zero point foods and, and lean proteins and healthy fats and fruits and veggies and all that good stuff. Okay, so you're going to take all of that, that you learned in green, and now you're going to go to blue, and you're really going to focus on your zero point foods. Okay, so for instance, today, uh, let me tell you guys what I ate today. This morning, I had um, two eggs for zero. I had some hash browns. I weighed and measured those because they're pointed for two points. Um, I had an apple. I had a banana later as a snack. That was zero. The apple was zero. For lunch, I had made myself some soup. And I made like a version of chicken tortilla soup. But instead of the chicken, I used the turkey. And I actually used the 93.7 turkey. So that was pointed. So instead of just assuming, oh, it's ground turkey, it's zero. No, you have to look at, was it 99% fat free or was it the 93.7? Mine was the 93.7 which four ounces of that was three points. So I had to count for that. But everything else in my soup was zero, which was so nice. My corn was zero. My uh, black beans were zero. Obviously my fruits and my broth and all that was zero. And then I added some tortilla chips, which I also measured. And I have been using my food scale. I really think for us Weight Watchers, it's a good idea to get a food scale and start learning how to use that. You will notice you get gypped all the time on points, okay? So when I used to just use measuring spoons and stuff, I felt like I wasn't getting my full serving. And so I was, you know, not getting the full amount that I could have had. And then sometimes you're overestimating. For example, um, I had the pound dropper cheesecake, which I made that according to the directions. It was one point on zero. And then I added some sugar-free cool up on top. Well, guess what? I weighed it for the first time ever instead of using the measuring spoons. And I found out that nine grams of sugar-free Cool Whip is not very much. It is just like a little dollop, you guys. So all of this time I've been tracking for one and I think I've been eating two, three, maybe even four points worth of Cool Whip. So uh, we're not gonna be buying the sugar-free Cool Whip anymore because I feel like for me, it's not worth the points. Um, now, the Ready Whip and that sort of thing, I think you get a little bit more bang for your buck. I think it's really important that we start getting kind of honest with our tracking. And I talked about that in my walking video the other day. You know, I used to just track, oh, it's sugar-free Cool Whip, put a huge glop on top of whatever I'm eating and count it as one point. And I wasn't really being honest uh, with myself in my tracking for that. So, Okay, so hopefully that helps you. Um, make sure you're focusing on the zero point foods. Make sure you get that list out. If you're switching plans, get your list out. Don't assume because if you switch, like let's say you go from blue to purple um, or from purple back to blue, you can really mess yourself up if you're eating a lot of the zero point foods and they're not actually zero on that plan. Or if you go from blue to green, 
Green is your more structured plan. So blue is middle of the road. Okay, blue is really middle of the road. Purple takes you into a lot more self-awareness. Um, and I think it's it's for people that can really do well on that and really have their self-control and their um, they understand the difference between stuffed and satiated, uh, full versus stuffed, you know. <laughs> I think purple is a great exercise in that. Um, I'm at, at the place where I want to do purple. I really am comfortable uh, in green. And then I'm, you know, kind of going back to blue because I've been watching some of my old videos and looking at some of the things that I used to eat on blue when I was successful. Now, the trap for me on blue, here's the trap, is eating zero-point foods and nice-sized quantities, uh, quantities of zero-point foods all day long so that you can have 30 points worth of treats in the evening. <laughs> you can do that. You can have a whole day of zero point foods. I've seen YouTubers do it on here as well. They'll have a whole day of zero point foods. Um, but the problem is if you have 30 points and you eat 30 points of Reese's or 30 points of Halo Top or, you know, you use all of those leftover points and you uh, overstuff yourself with treats, you're not going to lose weight or you're going to gain weight. Now, the cycle that I got into that for me was unhealthy is I started to kind of play the system. And all of these systems can be played just like any other plan out there. Any other plan out there, uh, if you're not honest and you're not working the plan the way that it's meant to be work, worked, you can have a problem. Um, I don't care which plan it is, okay? <laughs> so, like I have a friend that calorie counts. She decided she wasn't going to count fruits and veggies and she ended up stalling herself out. Because remember, fruits and veggies have calories. So if you're gonna calorie count, you have to calorie count everything. So um, I was in the point where I was working out a lot. I was eating a lot of zero point foods. And then in the evening, like every evening, evening I was having um, Halo Top or wine or some sort of, you know, cheese, or I was eating a lot of things that were within my points, but I was having way too much. So I was overshooting uh, what I needed to lose weight and I stalled myself out and then I got frustrated and then I had some stressful life events and you guys know what that does to you in terms of your habits. You go back to those unhealthy habits and then you're in trouble. So um, let's see. Cindy says eat frozen fruit in the hot weather. If not, you're eat if not, you're missing out. So you're eating, oh, frozen dark cherries and frozen mango. That sounds amazing. I have an Instacart coming. I think it's too late for me to add that. Um, cherries, I can totally overdo it on the cherries. Grapes, same thing. So I have started doing one serving at a time. And if I'm satisfied and full, I stop there. Or I combine it with a protein. So I love those little baby bell cheeses. Um, I love the WW little turkey sticks. So I try to have my fruit with a protein. In the hospital, when we have diabetics, we would offer them two snacks a day. So they would have their breakfast that was perfectly balanced by the dietitian. In the morning, we would give them a protein and a carb. Okay, because the carb elevates the blood sugar. And then the blood sugar stays steady with the protein. All right. So we do an apple and peanut butter butter, or we would do a cracker, crackers and cheese, two little packets of crackers and cheese. You see what I'm saying? So it was all portioned out. And um, I, I always enjoyed that approach. Did I apply it to myself? Not really. But now I'm starting to think about that. You know, um, when we elevate our blood sugar, what are we doing to sustain it? So that's kind of a little tip. I'm not trying to give you guys medical advice out there, but that's a little tip. Um, let's see if there's any other questions. Was this helpful? I just want to talk about blue plan because I'm trying to get myself kind of back on it. Um, let's talk a little bit about eggs before I get off of here. So I think eggs have high abuse potential. And my Weight Watcher leader, Tony, that I used to go to his meetings on Saturdays, and I can't get into right now because he's so popular, his meetings are closing out because um, we only can do 15 people. He always talked about high abuse potential in blue and in purple. There are some certain foods that you can eat too many of, and he said eggs. He's had a lot of Weight Watchers come in and complain and say, I didn't lose any weight. And when he looks at what they ate during the week, they had been eating too many eggs or they would have been eating too many beans. 
He said he loves nothing better than a zero point chili and just going back for, you know, he's a big, big guy going back for seconds and thirds. And then he couldn't figure out why his, why his weight was slowing down. And so um, he said, you know, snacking on eggs may not be the best thing for you. You know, if you have two eggs in the morning, you know, you have two eggs in the afternoon as a snack, and then you've got eggs in your casserole or whatever you're doing for dinner, you've, you've eaten half a dozen eggs. <laughs> and he said, that may be too many. So um, I have to watch myself on the hard boiled eggs. I love them as a snack. So what I got used to doing when I used to do freestyle before was I would do an egg and then I would do something with it. I would either do a piece of fruit like an apple or I would do a baby bell or one of those little turkey sticks or something. So I would get that nice protein and it would hold me over till dinner. That was a great afternoon snack. Um, some carrot sticks. I love those with some hummus or some guacamole, that sort of thing. So it's just, it's just different. Um, but have fun with working the plan if you're switching over to blue. I know a lot of my friends are going to do blue with me right now. So uh, I'm over on Facebook and it's for Nurse RN. I have a little support group over there. I'm pretty active over there if you want to come over and just say hi. Then I get to know who you are and I get to see your profile picture and, and everything. But um, there's lots of cool support groups over on Facebook for Blue. So where you can get ideas and recipes and all that. So go check that out. And I know there's a lot of YouTubers that do Blue and have had great success with Blue. I think that's one of the things that I had some good success with Blue. Um, I kind of feel like I've been in a rut with Green lately um, for different reasons and just needed a switch to kind of refresh myself. Um, but also watching some of the YouTubers and some really successful people on Instagram that have done really, really well and seeing some of the recipes and things. I don't know. It just got me kind of jazzed up. So somebody wanted to see my charms. Um, so I started WW at 288. Um, so I've lost almost 40 pounds um, overall on WW, but I have a ways to go. So I have a lot of charms. I just have a few of them on here. I need to redo my charms right now, but, um, I have a lot of little charms. These are some, you can get some on, um, Etsy, which they're really cute or eBay. This one says don't quit. <laughs> so I love that's not a WW charm. This is a bathing suit charm. Uh, that's just sort of a motivator because we are going to Destin, Florida next year. And I always have my little bathing suit in mind. I have a little five pound charm on here. I have my little A on here. Um, this is a WW charm that was given out for 10 pounds. So these are old charms, guys. Um, the new charms, I haven't gotten any new ones because I haven't earned any new ones. Where's my little baggie that I have some more? Let me show you some of the other ones. If you're wanting old charms, you can go on eBay and pick them up. So if you're doing an old program, like let's say you're doing eye track bites and you're doing momentum or points plus, I have friends on here that are doing those plans and you want to award charms to yourself. I say go for it, whatever motivates you. These are very tactile. And what we learn about the brain is that we make those new grooves in the brain through uh, sensory. So smelling, um, seeing, feeling things. And I think charms are a great sort of anchor for us that anchor us to our program. So let me show you some of these. Here's a 5% charm. These are ones I want to um, kind of earn back from the 250s that I'm in. So uh, here's just a regular WW charm. I love that one. So you can just give yourself charms if, if you hit like this is a... Oh, 16 week. See, that would be really fun right now if I can do 16 weeks in a row of meetings. Right now, WW is doing an eight week, no, a six week challenge. I'm sorry. So if you do six weeks in a row of attendance, and I believe that's either online or through the meeting, you'll have to look on your app and see if you can find information on that. You will get a six week charm, but this is a 16 week charm. So I'd love to earn that one back. I'm just going to start fresh, guys. 25 pound charm. Remember that one? You guys probably remember if you go back on my channel. Oh, this one's funny. I should give I should put this one on right now. Freestyle. When we went from smart points to freestyle, we got a freestyle charm. That one is super cute. Um, there's some in here that are just waiting for me to give them to myself. Uh, just keep swimming. This one's funny. Take 22. 
<laughs> in other words, how many times have you rejoined WW, you guys? Um, some of my really good friends on YouTube and Instagram have gained a lot of weight back. And so we're all in the same boat together. It's okay. There's no shame. All right. There's no shame. If you guys have withdrawn from your community because you've gained weight, you need to go back on your community and realize a lot of us have gained weight and we're all in this together. There's no shame in restarting. Um, here's another 25 pound charm. So can't wait to put these back. There's another. Oh, this was for uh, the summer. If you went all summer long, you got this charm. I love that. It's like a little sunshine. Here's another little 5%. So I have a bookmark that has stickers. You guys have seen that. Here's the one I'm really wanting. This one says Wonderland. So we're going to earn that charm for sure. But just fun charms. These all came off of Etsy or eBay. If you go on and look at, look guys, you recognize this? This is a Bravo sticker. Isn't that cute? I'm saving that for Wonderland. <laughs> they don't do Bravo stickers anymore. Um, I got this at a little gift shop. It just has my name and I put my charms on there. So I'm sure I'll start getting the colored ones again. Um, I had a couple of the colored ones and the little bevel broke off and they fell right off of the key ring. So I feel like those don't stay on very well, or maybe I'm just hard on things. I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, have a great day. I just want to check back in. I'm going to come back tomorrow. We'll talk about the Beck Diet Plan and that book and cognitive behavioral therapy and the weekly, if you would like to do that. I don't know what time. Uh, I set times for myself, and then I had a Tupperware party yesterday. It was supposed to be at 7, and I did it at 4, and everybody was like, what are you doing? And I, oh, Okay, so let me go put this together, and I will try to do a little giveaway coming up. We'll think of something to do because Molly did give me little binders to give away. So if you want a binder, if you're interested in a giveaway, let me know down below. And if you like these kind of videos, give me a thumbs up, like I said before. That's how I know <laughs> that you want this kind of video. I can't read your minds. Um, we're going to be doing some more daily vlogs this week of what I'm eating. My hair is super crazy. I look like a clown. <laughs> uh, Leslie says, I can't find that book. I don't know which book you're talking about. You're welcome, Cindy. I'll see you guys later. Go organize your program materials. It'll be fun. Go get your recipes organized. You will feel invigorated. We have... A lot of us have a little more time at home. So this is the time to do that sort of thing. And that's what I'm going to be doing for the next little bit until online church tonight. And I have barbecued chicken with GH Hughes uh, for dinner tonight and some little baby potatoes that I put in my air fryer and they get crispy and I dip them in ketchup and they taste like a little home fry. Oh my gosh, they're so good. So I'm going to go do that for dinner. I'll see you guys later. Stay in orbit. Thanks for watching and supporting me. I'll see you later. Bye.